everyone uh, welcome back to homeschool with half play uh, what we're trying to do here is uh, we're just trying to uh, get some really interesting subjects to cover during this quarantine time and to make your time uh, that much more fun uh, uh, my name is rohina anand khira and i own the home decor brand aa living uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, 10 different decor mistakes that you might be making and you didn't even do it uh, we've all been victims to these mistakes at some point or the other or um, be included um, but it's nothing that a few tips can fix so come tune in and i promise you'll have a better looking home by the end of it so mistake number 1 would be hanging your curtains too low i think what most people do is they start their curtains uh, just where their window start and that's a huge no no because it immediately makes your room shrink um, ideally what you should do is start your curtains 2 inches below the ceiling and you want um, the illusion of height really so you want your curtains to start that much higher and the eye to go upwards and uh, Trust me, it makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, additionally, also the hem of the curtain uh, should not be too short. It should ideally just kiss the ground, be about half an inch above the ground, not too long either, that it puddles on the floor and collects dust. So it's a little bit of a delicate balance, but uh, you will get it. So mistake number two is buying furniture that is the wrong size, and um, this is another common mistake. Um, what people do when they go shopping for furniture is they just they just end up buying stuff that they uh, really love uh, not really knowing uh, the correct size of their room uh, i would say simply take a piece of paper a measuring tape and a pencil and a ruler and that's all you need to make your own floor plan just measure your space and take that when you go shopping and um it's just a no brainer you don't need any fancy software but you have to know your measurements before you go shopping so mistake number 3 would be rugs that are the wrong size and um you just get a rug that is too small and it ends up looking like a bath mat and you just don't want that um and it just ends up dwarfing your space completely ideally what you want to do is have all the front legs of your furniture to be inside the rug uh, that's the correct size uh, of rug that you should be choosing but uh, by and large i think just make sure it's large enough for your room and it's not dwarfing So a uh, mistake number 4 is choosing the wrong kind of plants and uh, I know it's happened to you because it has happened to me uh, we've all bought those beautiful plants home and they end up dying on us within a month uh, so I think what you need to do when you go out to buy your plants is actually see if that species uh, is suitable for your home and for your home's light conditions so that you can keep it alive and uh, honestly styling with plants is one of my favorite things to do because it's just so cheap. and uh, it brings image and texture it brings life it brings color uh, to your space but you just need to choose really wisely so mistake number 5 would be over accessorizing and similar to fashion this is a huge no no because uh, ideally when you buy something new you should donate one thing away it's just that simple and um, also a lot of people when they go out uh, accessory shopping and they say okay you know i'm really bored of my space i want to go uh, buy something new make my space uh, feel a little fresh what they don't realize is that their older pieces are actually the crux of the problem and uh, then they end up keeping the new piece and the old piece and they just ends up being so much clutter um, in their room and it also clutters the energy of the room so i would say uh, definitely do that and just donate one thing away when you buy something new and um, another small pro tip uh, is just take a photograph of your space uh, nothing for instagram nothing fancy just for yourself and just to actually get some objective on whether um, you know these certain accessories or cushions or whatever it is that you want to change is uh, working or not it's just much easier to be objective when you have it in front of you on a photograph So mistake number 6 is actually not investing in enough neutral pieces and that includes your uh, 
your bed spreads, your curtains, your upholstery. Uh, I like to add my pop of colors through things like accent chairs or cushions or throws uh, and just keep the bases really neutral because I feel like after a few years it just becomes really painful to redecorate that same blue couch that you loved two years ago and you know to find the matching cushions again. It's just really difficult to redecorate. I think classics just serve you much better if you ask me. Mistake number seven is not having enough textures in your home and uh, by that I mean uh, if you say you have everything that's really shiny so you have shiny laminates, uh, you have glossy fittings, you have sequin cushions I mean that would just end up looking really tacky right I mean cheap and tacky and you really don't want that so what you need to do is actually go to your room and just count the number of um, textures that you have so for example if you have too many glossy or shiny uh, textures I would say just add enough matte textures or like rougher textures to just balance it all out and you should be counting at least five textures in your room. Mistake number eight is everything being really matchy matchy um, so if you have a lot of uh, curved uh, traditional furniture in your home I would say just offset it with 20% of furniture or accessories that are in a different style. So for example, you add really modern lighting then. Um, I think you have to understand that you're living in a home and not in a set design and I feel like that designer element only comes through uh, if you actually break away from the sets per se. Well, mistake number 9 is actually hanging your art at the wrong height. And this can actually throw the whole room scale off. Uh, ideally, you should be hanging it at five feet, which is at eye level, and not hanging it too high or too low for sure. And the last mistake, mistake number 10, is uh, not swatching your paint shades on the wall. Uh, you have to understand that paint looks very different uh, in chip paint books and it looks very different when it's actually on a wall. And even though it seems like a safe choice and you know, how can you go wrong? But each home comes with different lighting conditions, with uh, different kind of construction. Uh, you need to actually just understand that and just swatch it on the wall so you know exactly what you're getting in. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's class and stay tuned next week. Um, Homeschool with Happily will bring you another episode. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy and take care.